Hi guys, so you have seen plenty of my video in first class, business class, and also you have seen a lot of Instagram pictures out there, people enjoying themselves sitting in uh, premium classes traveling. Now, very few people actually talk about how they actually doing it, how they actually achieve that. This week is not a typical airline review or flying out somewhere. This is actually a program we talk about the latest airline deals and how to find the cheapest airfare. The idea is to enable you to travel better and travel more frequent with this knowledge. So as you know, Qantas recently started the longest Dreamliner flight connecting non-stop between UK and Australia. So uh, this is about 17, 18 hours flight non-stop between London and Perth and on to Melbourne. And you don't want to end up sitting in the economy for such a long flight. So we'll explore the cheapest way to fly in business class. We'll also look at how to compare Garuda Airline first class fare from their website direct with a online travel booking site. And then we'll look into Malaysia Airline A350 because a lot of fans has requested me to review that. So there are many tools I use to look for the cheapest airfare. So here's a couple websites which I found really useful in helping me to travel better. So here I'm going to share with you. The first website is called expertflyer.com. So expertflyer is um, a travel intelligence website that shows you fares, seat availability, seat maps, award, seat opening, alert. Um, there's a free version and a pro version. I'm not selling the website here, so you can come on here and have a look. Uh, the free version is very limited, so um, I believe it's about $100 per year or $10 per month to use. Um, what I want to show you quickly is looking up that Qantas Air tickets, uh, the Qantas Airfare from um, London to Melbourne. So I'll type in the code here in fare search, Heathrow, Melbourne, and traveling days, I put it random, 24 of, uh, and um, Qantas QF. So I'll actually just bring up all the fares here. So this is what the website does. It's, it's bringing up all the published airfare right now. And if you're not familiar with the uh, um, air tickets, how they code it, it's actually the, the price of each ticket is coded in a separate booking class. So it's fell into a separate booking bucket here. Um, what we are interested in is looking at business class. So I'll filter it into B. B is business class. Um, so the lowest tickets, this is without tax, without additional fuel surcharges. It's 3822 US dollar, Qantas one way, Qantas Heathrow to Melbourne, D class. D class is a discount business class. And then you got a higher fare class is C class, then the full fare business class is J class. So your, your fare range from 3800 to 5900 So this is um, quite expensive, as you can see from Heathrow to Melbourne. What I would try is, because we know that non-stop from Heathrow to Melbourne, the most direct flight is the most expensive flight. So this is probably why it's quite expensive. Um, let's try to look at another city pair from Frankfurt to Melbourne. So you might have to transit in London, flying Frankfurt to London, and then London to Melbourne. So let's have a look. Okay, so the fare came down a bit. If you remember earlier, it was 3,800. Now it's 3,400. Uh, from Frankfurt to Melbourne. So let's try to keep playing again. So this is why you, you need this website. You need to do lots of research. I'm going to try to Paris. Paris to Melbourne. Okay, look at business class. There you go, much better. 2700 in business class. So I'm quite happy with this fare. This is one of the lowest fare I found. You can try out many, many city pair. In fact, let me show you one of the cheapest one I found out here. It's from Cairo to Melbourne. But from Cairo, you have to go to Dubai, Dubai to Melbourne, uh, basically flying on Emirates. So Cairo to Melbourne, as low as 1261 in business class. And remember, this is before tax and fuel surcharge. Even the first class fare is very cheap, 2500 for a one-way Qantas Emirates to Melbourne. So after finding out the cheapest city pair, flying that Qantas non-stop from UK to Australia, we can try CDG to Melbourne on the date 24th, QF, which is Qantas Airlines code. I mean, you can type in and um, I'm just used to it, so it pick up the short code very quickly. And now it brings up this availability and schedule. What we need to look at is to look at a D-class available pair because there's a connection. So the first connection is uh, CDG to Heathrow, 
and on British Airways A320 and then Qantas 10 Heathrow to Melbourne. So you need to look at D class available in both connections. So it does available here. We should just proceed to a website to book the lowest tickets on Qantas. And just to uh, show you the price from London to Melbourne on Qantas website on the 24th. This is the most direct flight. You flying direct on the Dreamliner London to Melbourne via Perth. And um, that ticket price is £3,300 in the lowest buckets business saver tickets, which converting to US dollar, it is 4700 US. Okay, now let's have a look at the flights uh, from Paris, which should be a lot cheaper because we found a much cheaper fare from uh, Expert Flyer just earlier. So Paris to Melbourne. Okay. It, this is the one we found earlier, it's identical to the timing, the flight is BA from Paris to London and then connecting Qantas 10, London to Melbourne, uh, 2800 euros. Let's just do this and see how much converting to US dollar. So the airfare from Paris to London to Melbourne is 34.79 US dollar. That's about 1300 US dollar in savings than direct flight from London to Melbourne. However, you have to factor in the positioning cost of moving yourself from London to Paris to start your journey there. There's a, a bit of inconvenience, you lose a bit of time. But however, if you're looking at a cheaper savings, this is tremendous. Okay, the second thing I wanna show you is compare some of the price from an airline website to um, a uh, travel agent website, see who can get you a cheaper fare, especially first class, business class, when the amount is bigger, so you see a bigger savings as well. So for example, I was looking at London to Jakarta in uh, first class on Garuda Airlines. So I'll put in a date I want, which I think is May 19. So let's have a look what Garuda is selling on their official websites. So they have a direct flight on that day. It's selling uh, 2181 and uh, pound. Okay, so what I want to show you is a site called Momundo momundo.co.uk or momundo.com and let's have a look see if we found a cheaper tickets on momundo website and then i'll show you what momundo is actually so on the same day london to jakarta so momundo is a site that links to many travel agent sites it's a search engine basically search the lowest air tickets on many travel agent sites and then bring you the most reliable link to book so um, yeah, so we found a cheaper fare here, Garuda, 2,107 pounds. Go back to Garuda website, Garuda is 2,181. So here we save about a good 75 pounds. So what you do is you go to, go to the site. So Momundo direct you to that particular site, offer the cheapest fare compared of all the sites. And um, I have to say that sometimes it works, you found a cheaper airfare, sometimes you don't. Sometimes the airline website is the cheapest. So you just need to try out all the possible ways to find that saving for yourself. Now I also want to show you a good um, resource here. Since you're flying first in business class, you're getting a lot of miles. So let's not waste of that. So there's a good website called wheretocredit.com. So what it does is like say, for example, if I'm going on that Garuda Indonesia airline flight, and I knew the booking class was A class from my previous research or on expert flyer you found out one way or the other. What this site does is it really have a matrix here on all the frequent flyer program for each airline, how many miles you earn. Um, yeah, so you have the base scenario and you're tier one, tier two, tier three. Tier one, two, three means your silver, gold, platinum frequent flyer of each airline program. So Garuda is part of Sky Team. So Sky Team carriers here, um, you can accrue miles and earn miles on all of these frequent flyer program. Um, in fact, that go to the calculator is even better. So I'll type in from Heathrow to Jakarta on Garuda Airline in A class. So in this way, it's very fast. It shows you which program you can earn the most miles on. Although be careful, the more miles you earn, it doesn't mean the easier you can redeem a ticket because each airline program have different redemption level as well on their award miles. 
So guys, last thing today is a lot of viewers are um, commenting that they want me to fly the Malaysia Airline A350 do a review. And some of them are also want to fly themselves because it's some very new plane, the flagship of Malaysia Airline at the moment. So uh, what I found the best deal is looking at Malaysia Airlines website for that airplane. You go to deal sections. It doesn't matter which country website you go to, you will come to the same page section. Then what you can do is select from the city you want to depart. For example, I want to fly from KL because the A350 fly from KL to London and to Tokyo. So let me just look for return fare in business class. And there's so many options here, so many cities on offer that, you know, okay, here Tokyo Narita, 3,699 Malaysia ringgit. This is below a thousand US dollar. This is business class return below a thousand dollar round trip. It is about six and a half, seven hour each way. So this is tremendous, tremendous value here. Um, also, I want to tell you about Malaysia Airlines. They have a lot of very good airfare from Thailand and from China. So you just need to go to their website and start searching. Uh, let's say from Bangkok. Let's see if I can find a good one for you guys to Narita. And I'm going to put in some random dates in there. And I'll prefer travel in midweek. Midweek is always better. So put in business class and see. Yeah, so in fact that you can see um, the fare is very decent here. Uh, this is also a co-share with Japan Airlines. So Japan Airlines 787. So okay, we learned a cheap way to fly Japan Airlines as well. So Malaysia Airlines has a co-share with Japan Airlines. There you go. This is their own metal, 737 Bangkok to KL. And a long connection and then Malaysia Airlines A350. So 13250 Thai baht. And then return, let me fly the same thing. Okay, Malaysia again, 13,320. So the total I came up with is 26,570. You can fly four sector, including if you want to fly Japan Airlines 787 on the way out, returning on the Malaysia A350, 851 all in business class, tremendous value. So here's a good, really good deal um, to fly the first class. Let me show you. On Expert Flyer, you can search the award availability. So I'm just typing in Narita to KL and let me put a random dates plus minus two days. You can search the award availability of Malaysia Airlines. I want the first class. So let's just wait for a little bit to get the results back. There you go. There's four seats available. Uh, keep in mind, there's only four seats available in that uh, A350. All four seats are available for uh, award seats. So you can use your miles. So uh, there you go. I can even look up the seat map of this uh, flight. So all you need is 40,000 miles on American Airlines A Advantage of War miles between Tokyo and Malaysia. 40,000 miles roughly cost about 800 US dollar. So 800 US dollar, you can fly the first class of Malaysia A350, which is a very good deal. Website I mentioned today is expertflyer.com, which you can check flight availability, the seat map, fares, etc. And the second site is comomundo.com, which you can compare the airfare from many websites and then take you to the cheapest website to book. And the last website I mentioned is wheretocredit.com. So thanks for watching again, and your feedback is very important. If you have any specific question, please send me in all the details. I will try my best to look into them. And see you next week.